Watch this video before you get Oscar Cichlids. And this is why you should watch this video first. So let's get straight into it. We're gonna go through a list and at the end of the video, we're gonna do positives and negatives about Oscar Cichlids. Make sure you stay all the way to the end of the video to see the positive and negatives so you can decide if you want to get Oscars. So let's start off with the main basics. So their water parameters. So these fish are from the Amazon rainforest. So the Amazon river, they'll go in little pools. So they are introduced to loads of different types of food. So they will mainly eat like nuts, fruit that fall off the trees, but they won't usually eat that sort of stuff in captivity. So that means any insects fall in the water, they will eat. Any little bugs on top of the water, they'll eat. So they like a good protein diet as well though but they do not mainly eat meat. So because these fish are from the Amazon, they like quite warm water, so they want between 24 to 26 degree water, which is about 76 to 78 Fahrenheit if you are in America. And for pH levels, they are quite hardy when it comes to that, so they can go anywhere between a 6.5 to an 8, but you want to keep it around 7 if possible. You need to keep the water quality really clean and you need to have a very strong filter on the tank because these fish eat a lot, so they create a lot of waste. So you need to make sure you've got a good filter for your size of tank. But they are very hardy when it comes to water conditions, so if it drops a degree or two, they will be fine. And if your pH is a bit off, try to fix it as soon as possible, but they are quite hardy when it comes to water conditions. So let's jump on to the next topic. So as I mentioned, they eat a lot. And as I mentioned before, they'll eat insects and stuff like that in the wild naturally. They need a good balanced diet. So I feed my Oscars Cichlid Gold. It's, it's filled with good nutrients, proteins and all sorts. But this is very good stuff. Uh, and as you can see there, £3.99, not bad for a little bag like this. And my Oscars are currently uh, just baby, so I've got one Oscar over here and one Oscar over here. So I've only got a small bag at the moment and I've got mini sized pellets, but when they're full grown, they will eat the biggest size pellets you can get in this food. So when I say a balanced diet, you want to feed them some food like that and maybe give them some like fresh prawns or freeze dried prawns or something like that, like maybe some shrimp every once in a while to keep their diet nice and balanced so they will live a long, happy, healthy life. You can live feed these fish. But would I recommend it? I wouldn't really recommend it because if you go to the fish shop and buy a load of feeder fish, them fish are usually riddled with diseases and all sorts. Uh, but they, them fish have loads of diseases. If you really want to live feed your fish, get a small little tank like I've got over here. Get a small little tank for that. Put your feeder fish in there and let feed them fish out. Make sure they've got nothing wrong with them. Flush out the systems and you can feed your, your Oscars. But I wouldn't really recommend it. They're not they might be bashing themselves about when they're chasing fish and stuff they will be happy enough to feed on some frozen prawns that would be a perfect treat for them but if you really want to live feed maybe occasionally as a treat but i still wouldn't really recommend it so let's jump on to the next topic tank size and filtration so the filtration you will want for this tank for oscars as i mentioned earlier they are mocky pops so you want a good size filtration on it and you want a bit of a better filtration than you would for a normal tank especially if you're getting a couple in there so the water quality can stay amazing and super clear so you can see your beautiful oscar cichlids tank size this is very debatable on oscar fish some people i've seen oscars in 20 gallon tanks like a full grown oscar and they just have no room i've seen people make it work but it's not a happy condition for an oscar so i personally would recommend 75 gallons which is 340 liter this fish tank right here is a 240 liter tank so this fish tank is too small for these oscars but i've got two oscars in here but as you can see they are probably this one's probably about coming up to three inches this one's about just over two inches so these fish are babies this is a grow out tank for these fish so before you go in the comments saying you're not keeping your Oscars in the right conditions. This is a grow tank. They will go into a six foot tank and that six foot tank will be there forever home. So this is only a grow on tank for these fish. So let's jump onto the next topic. This was a very short topic, but tank mates. Can Oscars have tank mates? This is quite an asked question in the hobby, I would say. Oscars can have tank mates. As you can see, these fish are here with quite a lot of fish, but as I've said, these fish are only babies, so they will get a lot, lot bigger. The rule is, I would say, if that fish can fit in the Oscar's mouth, don't put it in there. It's going to get eaten. So maybe like getting a silver arrow one. If you've got a thousand litre tank and you chuck maybe two Oscars in there with an arrow, uh, with a silver arrow one, that would be awesome. That's such a good combination to see the silver arrow one 
surfs in the water and the Oscar is just chilling below doing them two fish species that is my dream tank when I get my six foot tank I might go for a seven foot tank so I can get in a thousand litre tank and that will be perfect for a silver arrow on it and some Oscars maybe. So yeah, at the moment I've just got a couple of random assorted cichlids. I've got a clown load, got a red tail shark in here. Uh, so there's quite a lot of a variety of fish. I just see the red tail sharks over there. And so far this has been fine. No one's been eaten and everyone is fine. When these Oscars start getting bigger, they'll go into the other tank. So everyone in this tank will be fine. Everyone else will stay in this tank, but the Oscars will go into their bigger tank eventually. So the next topic, the growth of the fish. How big will these fish actually grow? You go into a pet shop because they are widely seen in pet shops and you'll see a little two inch, little cute fish with awesome colors, the flaming red colors on them with the dark black and the big bug eyes and the awesome body shape. But you might be getting that fish for your 20 gallon tank, a very small tank, thinking I should get that fish, but you not knowing that that fish will grow to a 12 inch beast. So that fish will get so much bigger and they can grow bigger than 12 inches. That's probably the average though in the fish tank hobby, uh, but they can definitely grow bigger than 12 inches. Uh, but my Oscars now, as I said, they're probably about around three inches each. Uh, and they will grow up to an inch a month. If they're fed enough, they will grow up to an inch a month. So I've been told, and so far I've had these fish for about a month and they've grown about an inch since I got them. So when you see the little cute fish in the fish shank, in the fish shop, make sure you do your research and you don't go grab them and pick them up from the fish shop before you find out how big they actually grow. So let me talk to you about some unique things that these fish have that other fish don't. So Oscar cichlids have such a good personality. This is well known in the hobby that the personality of these fish are absolutely crazy. My fish are only babies, but I've already noticed a huge personality in the fish. Like if I do a water change or anything, the colors kind of drop and they start sulking, they go to the bottom of the tank and then they'll perk back up, the colors come back. Uh, and you can see when they want to eat, they surface the top water where you usually feed them. And all Oscars have a kind of different personality. So this one here, my black Oscar, a black tiger Oscar, as you can see there. He's got such a good personality. He swims around loads, he's very active, but my albino one over there, the white one, uh, he kind of mopes around a bit more. Uh, he doesn't really do as much, he's not as active. He, he kind of seems a bit depressed, but they can literally have mood swings like this. They can go really happy, they can go really down, but Oscar cichlids ha literally have moods and if you get these fish you will notice them but when you come up to the tank they can look at you and they see outside they offer food they know that food's coming and they're like looking at you chasing you they follow you around the tank like sometimes when they're hungry if I put my fish my finger across the tank they will sit there and chase my finger and they're just really fun fish to watch and they're really good show tank fish these fish are also very very intelligent uh, so they're very smart they all know what's food, they know something's getting hurt them. They're just smart fish overall. I know it's hard, like how can a fish be intelligent? But if you own these fish, you will agree with me when I say these fish are intelligent. Another perk about these fish are they are easy to obtain. So you can go to most fish shops and pick up these fish. I'm from the UK, it's a lot easier to obtain these sort of fish in America to say, but I went to my local fish shop and they had a big display tank with loads of Oscars in. So I had to pick up two, grow them out in this tank to be ready to put into their six foot tank. And they are a stunning looking fish. They've got a really nice body, they've got a really nice body shape uh, and they just flow nice, they swim so elegantly. Uh, the colors on them are ridiculous, as you can see now up close. The colours on my fish, they change quite a lot. Sometimes he goes, my black one greys out a bit. Uh, that's when he's a bit sad or something's a bit wrong. And then his colours go really dark. And then like the black on him goes really black and the red really pops. And he just looks awesome when he does that. But they're just a really good looking fish and they're really nice to look at. So yeah, they are some of the unique things about Oscars. So let's jump on to the pros and cons about these fish. So a pro. They're a good looking fish. They are absolutely stunning. As I just mentioned, there's just a stunning fish. So that's definitely a pro. A second pro, you've got amazing personalities. Third pro, super intelligent and really fun to watch. Fourth pro, they're very easy to obtain. And this is a pro slash negative. They grow very big. Because some people like a big growing fish, as have I do. That's why I got them, because they grow really big and they're really fun to feed when they're big and when they're small. 
uh, but that's kind of a pro and a negative because some people don't like big fish some people wish they could stay at the size they are now and that would be pretty cool for more like community tanks but it just doesn't but i like how big they get so that's that's a pro in my eyes another pro slash negative they eat a lot so that is a good and bad because when you feed them it's really fun to watch them eat so you get more feeding time with them uh, but that's also negative because it costs more money to feed them and then you need bigger filtration on your tank so that's kind of a pro and negative so there's five pros for you and now we'll list some negatives about the fish they grow big so as i mentioned this is a pro and a negative so you'll need a big tank big filtration and not many tank mates that could fit in now so you're limited to tank mates that you can put in this tank with your oscars and i don't think i can actually think of more negatives <laughs> i love these fish these are one of my dream fish for so long but there are a couple negatives like they eat a bit they eat quite a lot so as i said it can cost a lot of money but in the fish hobby, I don't think that's much as a problem because you just enjoy looking after these fish and just keeping them happy and watching them fish about. But yeah, apart from a, a minimal amount of tank mates, anything that wouldn't fit in the mouth, that's a negative. Tank size, a bit of a negative if you if it's hard to, if you haven't got the room or you haven't got the funds to spend on a bigger tank, then that is a negative. But overall, I would recommend this fish to someone not as a beginner though if you're a beginner to the fish keeping hobby i wouldn't recommend it just yet get maybe a 20 gallon tank have keep a like a keep a community tank first or something like that and then when you've got some more space or some more stuff to work with get a five foot six foot tank and get some oscars they are awesome fish i would highly recommend them just make sure you go in knowing what you're signing up for because these fish live for a while as well so i hope this video has helped you to decide if you want to buy these really cool super looking fish so if it has helped you make sure you go down below like and subscribe and let me know in the comments down below what, what tank you keep your oscars in and what type of oscars you have uh, what you feed them and just give some of your personal feedback from keeping these fish so other people can also read the comments and get hints and tips from you because i've only had these fish for a couple months i've done a lot of research on them uh, but i'm sure you gain more knowledge about these fish over years of keeping them so if you got that knowledge let everyone know in the comments down below if you enjoy watching this kind of content let me know in the comments down below and i'll do more of it but i'm absolutely in love with this fish tank at the moment it's a really cool looking tank but I am wanting to get a lot more tanks very soon, so stay tuned for that. So thank you very much for watching this week's video, and I will catch you in next week's video.